Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. We the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. The 12 jurors were unanimous finding Kyle Rittenhouse not guilty on all counts in the shooting of three people at protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Two people died. Rittenhouse claimed the shootings were in self-defense. In Sacramento, 22-year-old Tyrese Martin charged with murder and involuntary manslaughter. Police say he shot and killed his seven-year-old niece while firing at Clifford Hall, who he was allegedly aiming at. Hall was also killed. The father and stepmother of 11-year-old Roman Lopez pleading not guilty today to murder charges in his death. Roman disappeared in January of 2020. He was found hours later dead in the basement of his own home. Everyone 18 and older now eligible for a booster shot. Health officials approved both Pfizer and Moderna booster shots today, six months after the second shot. For Johnson & Johnson recipients, you're eligible two months after your first shot. The TSA is expecting pre-pandemic levels of Thanksgiving travelers. They expect more than 2 million passengers on Tuesday and Wednesday. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. A mad dash for cash on I-5 in Carlsbad after an armored truck spilled bags of money onto the freeway. Two people were arrested for taking cash and the FBI is looking to track more people down. A lot of events this weekend in Auburn. You can check out the Mandarin Festival. Enjoy free samples from Placer County farmers, fun food, crafts, activities, and music. A big weekend at Cal Expo. It's hosting the Sacramento Harvest Festival tonight. It features local artists, crafters, and small businesses, and they can use your help this holiday season. As more NorCal resorts open, Cal Expo is also hosting the NorCal Ski and Snowboarding Festival also through Sunday. You can shop, enjoy shows, or take part in a beer tasting. Global Winter Wonderland is also back at Cal Expo starting tonight. It features rides, games, millions of LED lights, and a laser light show. It runs through January 16th. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.